while you're here, Rick. <laughs> well, I'm not a philosophy professor. Uh, uh, my name is Rick Bennett. Uh, I am the chair of the business department, and uh, I work with uh, Dr. Rios and Tom McKay and, and trying to, and basically, uh, through their good efforts, we're getting this whole thing put together. I'm Karen Edwards. I'm the dean of students here at the college. I oversee um, the areas of admissions and registration and transfer services. I'm Christine Langeth. I'm the registrar. Kathleen Ray, I'm one of the counselors on staff here, and I'm, I'm involved in transfer and getting the word out to students. I'm Tracy Rosine, I'm public relations and graphic design. I'm Jan Steinhagen, I'm a reporter for the Reminder News. Welcome, thank you. Okay. I'm Anna Bray Keeney, and I'm the academic dean at the college. I'm Andrea Kovacs, and I'm vice president for marketing at the college, and I am especially excited because I'm a Norwich and Ledger native. And I could name about 20 of the students who currently have enrolled here at, at Three Rivers. So I'm very excited about this. Well, there's 20 more. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I'm Irene Rios. I'm the Alvarez Magnus College. Nilvio Perez, Director of Admission for the Traditional Age Population. Amy Brosick, I'm the Associate Director of Admissions here at Three Rivers. And I'm very excited to be able to go out and share this new program with our students. I'm Christina Palazzolo. I work um, in the adult program at Albertus Magnus College, and um, I'm looking forward to working with students to get them enrolled um, and transferring over. And I'm Tom Lefe, I'm the uh, Director of Enrollment for the uh, evening undergraduate and graduate programs on, uh, at Albertus. Thank you. I, I would like to have, uh, I'm sorry, you should tell me who you are. <laughs> <laughs> we have this wonderful sense of we have this sense of synergy. We can even use the same words. Um, right off the bat, I don't want to um, skip around right here, but I thought maybe a dialogue between the people who put this together for us but it might be helpful. Well, uh, actually, this started out. I'm not sure who contacted who over a period of time, uh, but uh, what we our goal was is to try and work out uh, something. Uh, that is part of the, st the strategy of the, of the college is to open doors for students who get that associate's degree to move on and complete the uh, bachelor's degree. Uh, and when uh, I heard from uh, Alberts Magnus and we started talking, uh, they have a very unique program with New Dimensions, uh, which uh, is very much in keeping really with modern thought on you know the, the new paradigms in education of, of trying to find new ways and better ways uh, to get people to, uh, the education society. And so Dr. Rios, I'd, I'd ask you to just give a, a quick overview of the New Dimensions program uh, in order for people to get a better understanding. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Bennett. Um, about a year ago, I think, we started our discussions. And we're very pleased to be here because we offer another option for working adults. And the option is New Dimensions, and the option is a baccalaureate degree in business management for working adults. Um, and I'll say I stand on the shoulders of our president, Dr. McNamara, who really put this program together and was a pioneer in adult ed many, many years ago at Albertus. So we continue our mission of looking for and offering to students um, an alternative way to complete their degree. So for the working adults at Three Rivers out here in Norwich, we have worked together, um, Professor Bennett and I, to start with the business programs. Your business programs articulate so very well with our business management baccalaureate degree. So we started there and we ended at looking at all of the programs that all of your students, traditional and adult students, could maybe benefit from or be interested in at Alberta. So we have traditional programs, we have the adult degree, accelerated degree program and that will be offered here on site. We still have to work out some of those details, but <clears throat> Professor Bennett thought that would be great. We loved it. We're doing this up at as Nuntuck now in Enfield and at Housatonic in Bridgeport. Yes, in Bridgeport. Um, and we're just we're we're absolutely sure that here in Norwich the working adult student could find benefit to take one course at a time for five to six weeks, um, take it in a sequential fashion where they never stop. They go from one course to the next to the next. 
we start the program anytime there are at least 10 to 14 students interested. And students, uh, working adult students with many responsibilities, can, focusing on one course at a time is a godsend to them because they can still make progress toward their degree and still deal with working and families and responsibilities. So it works very, very well. And we've been very successful for six, over 16 years doing this at Alberta. So I just stand on the shoulders of all of the people before me. So our, our discussions led to we could be here for New Dimensions, or our, your advisors here at Three Rivers could help students understand our more traditional programs for students who want to come and live on campus or attend at, on our prospect, attend at our Prospect Street campus. Excuse me, I'm getting a terrible sore throat. <clears throat> so that is what we started doing, and today is the culmination of all of our efforts. <clears throat> so if you have any particular questions, thank you so much, over anything that maybe I didn't cover. So that's about it. A couple of things I'd like to add to that is that as we began talking, a couple of things that emerged was uh, that Albertus Magnus has an ongoing relationship with both the Mohican tribe and with the Mohican casino, and that they have been using some of their facilities in order to hold some classes and that uh, this would this by having this facility here uh, that this would help us also uh, to help with the community at large dealing with Mohegan and with the tribe by making our facilities more available to them and getting more of an interaction with those two entities within our own community as well. And if I could add one thing, we did put detail together about how the degree programs at Three Rivers articulate to our degree programs. We didn't bring that with us today, but as we have opportunities to come and meet with the advisors, and those of you who meet with the students one-on-one, -on -one, you know how important that is, you can share with students this opportunity or this option for them to consider. So for the hard question. Okay. It would appear to me that, and I think I've heard that students will be, graduates will be accepted into the junior level. And um, with our best of friends in the four-year school, we're getting a little bit of pushback on whether that English 202, or whatever the numbers are, was good enough. And, um, you know, we have wonderful faculty here. It wouldn't be here. The, those kinds of discretions um, concern me about a graduate. Are there any ways in which you might expect that, uh, not not that you push back that way, but that they would be, they will be accepted as a junior into your program? And I looked at some of the courses as you listed them, as I have them now. Mm -hmm. um, I looked at uh, they fairly accurate. 202 included on that? 202 should be included on I, 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 I that. Or that. I'll look at the detail again. And I, I simply made that up because okay. um, I was trying to, um, the humanities elective is in there, but I, uh, I worked so hard for the clarity going in is what I'm saying to you. Absolutely. I want 202 is here. To you yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Let me assure you that we accepted all 63 credits, and without the detail in front of me, I, I hesitate to say 99.9% sure. Um, we accepted all 63 of your credits mm -hmm. into our degree program. Was it? And we're, by, by virtue of the agreement, if students are deficit any courses because they couldn't transfer them over because they didn't pass them or whatever, and they well, should have GPA matters. Part, right, the, the GPA matters, but the, the, uh, the degree matters. Um, we allow students to take courses here at their home college so they can save time and energy and money and will accept up to nine credits transferring back to us in addition to the 63. So that was an agreement that, that we took to our faculty and the faculty did vote on that. So, so we're very open to look at all that we can do for your students and we did accept all 63 credits. It's actually, I think, a statement as to uh, both institutions that when we looked at it, uh, how closely we were able to link everything together. 
Uh, and I think that that is a good indicator uh, as to the quality of education with respect to both institutions. And gee, when you get two independent institutions sit down and say, yeah, that's what is necessary, and they just dovetail together so well that I think that that's, uh, that's a very positive statement. I think that's exactly what I was looking to hear. <laughs> and I, I did see the, the courses here of just saying that we're having some students come back and say, that professor didn't accept my course here. So well, but yes. that wasn't at a purpose though, was it? Oh, absolutely oh, no. not. No, no, no. I mean, what I'm trying to do is to be able to say that's been one of the places that we have found a little pushback. It, it might be important for you to know also that we are believers that Alberta is in academic advising, in good academic advising. And every one of our students at the undergraduate level and graduate level in every degree program has a personally assigned academic advisor here. Our students here will have a, pers a personal academic advisor as well. So if there's ever any question about what we did evaluate and what we did accept, we have someone who could act on it and move it forward to me and we can solve it with Professor Bennett. So I. Mm -hmm. We have the mechanisms in place to help students move forward in case there's any question going forward. Good. And I guess the same kind of bridge that I look for when I reach out at the high school level, same kind of bridge we need when we move them on to the four year, the baccalaureate level. So that's the reason I raised that. Grace, would you, would you tell our people of our about your wonderful middle college experiment that mm. you this is very, very exciting. And, and this is now official. We, we have had, this past year, over 1,100 high school students who receive college credit for taking a class, but they were at their high school doing that. And that's why that's right. point said. And now we will have a middle college here. Um, watch my academic dean's face and prepare for resuscitation. <laughs> <laughs> we will have that happening here on August 27th. We will have a middle college here, which means the junior and senior year high school students will be here. This will be the inaugural year, so we're looking to invite 30 11th graders here to start their, to finish the high school and start their college. Um, as I was saying, the first remark was, we give out college credit, but now we're gonna bring them here on campus and do it systematically with what is called the Middle College, Three Rivers Middle College, will be the name of it. And we'll start over in a little place in the part of this campus, and eventually they'll have a building, because that's a part of it too. I'm so excited about that, because in every way I think about American education, it's got to start in the third grade at the latest. And so I'm not going to the third grade. <laughs> but if I can help in the process and get students onto the platform, that they can come in and see themselves in the college environment and see themselves with further education, then they can go any place they want to. So I, I am very pleased with that. And you're the bridge to the other side. And it's and really, it's so remarkable the creativity of this type of program, though, because. Um, so many times you hear people say that the senior year in high school was almost wasted, especially that second semester. And if you think about it, those youngsters, and there's still youngsters when they're in high school, even though they don't think sometimes that they are, but then they can really start in earnest on a college experience um, with uh, actual, actual academic credit. Yes. And it's very, very impressive. I congratulate you on that, mm -hmm. that idea. I hope it spreads across the state. I'm, I'm very excited about it. We've worked on it for many, many years now, so when it came out, it just suddenly bloomed. I think one of the things about the cohort model out at Alberta Spanish yes. is that, you know, it's one student at a time, and the cohorts come together, and there is, generally speaking, not 100% of the time, as I'm sure Irene would tell you, but the cohorts people come together, and they work in teams, as so many businesses want people to work in teams these days. And they complete their projects, their educational effort, in in a way that uh, creates kind of community, which is an, an important part of our mission and spirit as well. So it, we found it to be very successful over the 16-year period. I'm excited that um, we're going to be involved and, and we'll be we're excited around some students. I want to thank Rick for yes. 
bringing this, bringing us to this point. And um, thank you very much. President McMurray, do you want to say some, some other remarks? Just that I think that this opportunity for us to come together and to reflect with one another about what higher education is really, really does do for students and for their families. And when we say students and their families, we mean not only, you know, students and their parents, but in our case, here at, at Three Rivers and certainly at Albertus Magnus in our evening division, it's students, their significant others, uh, uh, their children, and sometimes uh, grandparents even uh, are involved in taking courses at the college. Mm -hmm. And so that makes a huge, it, made, it makes a huge contribution to society that education that they didn't have a chance to complete maybe many years ago. So, and we, we recognize that in today's, in today's world uh, where money is very tight and where the economy is, is, is showing some, some tiny signs of moving forward, but then it slips back, we, these educational institutions of ours, we must really help our students to get, to become their best selves. And that, that uh, implies not only the traditional date, program at Alberta's the four-year college, but it certainly, certainly does um, affect the evening division as well. We always say that our delivery of service is what has really enabled the college over these last 16 years to serve students more effectively, something community colleges have known a lot about for a very long time, and we've finally gotten it. So thank you very much for having us here today. Well, it's certainly our pleasure. Would this be the right time to put our signatures on a page? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. thank you so we much.